In our last segment, we talked about using structured JSON logging output to make it easier for us to aggregate logs and still have useful data in a tool like EFK or ELK or Splunk. In this segment, we're going to get ourselves even more diagnostic information that we can use in a Kubernetes or OpenShift platform by using Open Tracing and Jaeger. So we're going to change over to our primary application. You can see I'm already in source red hat dot to do list. And we're going to add two libraries, two packages. The first is going to be open tracing contrib net core package. And the second one is going to be the Jaeger core package. So open tracing is an API for doing distributed tracing. Jaeger is one possible implementation and one that Red Hat supports quite well in OpenShift. So we've added those two libraries. Let's wire them into our application. We're going to go to our startup CS file. We're going to go up to our configure services method. And we're going to add two new items to our configure services method. The first is services dot add open tracing. That enables the open tracing APIs to be wired automatically into our web API application. Then we need to configure open tracing to use our Jaeger implementation. And that looks like this. And I'm going to talk you through this in just a moment so that uh, it's clear what exactly is happening. So we're adding a singleton of type iTracer, and that service provider is getting our required service, which is our web environment, with our application name. Then we're creating a new tracer using Jaeger as our implementation. So we're using the Jaeger Tracer Builder with a constant sampler, which means it samples every few seconds or every few milliseconds. And we're going to build that tracer. And we're going to attach that tracer to our global open tracing context and register it as our tracing implementation. And we're going to return that tracer. So we've added open tracing as an API SPI and then we've attached an implementation using Jaeger. When you start your application, you can pass various environment variables to Jaeger in order to configure where it sends its data to. So what that looks like is this. Oh, I got the wrong link. Copy link. So you pass these environment variables or set these environment variables where you're going to deploy your application to tell it where to set, what the service name is of the Jaeger instance, the agent host, agent port, so on and so forth. Authentication information, certificate information, you name it. So as long as we set those environment variables, Jaeger will be able to send our configuration. So by adding this little bit of code, any request that comes into our web API that doesn't already have a tracing header will get one appended automatically. If it does have a Jaeger tracing header, it will use that tracing header to allow us to track within the system how requests and responses pass through. And we can correlate data across multiple services relatively easily. There are only two more segments. The next one is about injecting our configuration from the environment at runtime.